Hello, today we are showing you another experiment that we're starting. This week we are going to set our first batch of chicken eggs to hatch in our incubator. This is our um, older model. Oh, here we've got perfect timing. The egg turner that only turns once an hour is turning. I'll let you look at that. It's the first time I've been able to catch it happening. That's the turner that you see, that black box over there, then that's how it moves the eggs from one side to the other during the incubation process. And that happens about every four hours constantly for the first 18 days. So I'm glad we caught that on video. And we have a guest with us today to explain how we're setting up our incubator. This is my husband, John. Say hi, John. Hi. <laughs> And he's going to help me explain because um, I have used other incubators in the past. I've never used one like this and we've borrowed it from a friend. We've printed our instruction manual off the internet and we have the uh, original instructions that came with the machine here. John, about how old or what time period would you say this incubator got started? This incubator is probably about 40 years old and it still functions and they still make ones just like it today. We can uh, start with, you know, th as, as you just saw, this is the egg turner the uh, box here. It hooks the, the, uh, to the machine. Can take it off and show Take the lid off and show them how it works. Yeah. <clears throat> so the egg turner is plugged into the unit which has the timer built into it. And it just clips over the, the handles of the machine with this lever. If you didn't have the egg turner, you can't. This machine still is originally sold without the egg turner, and you're supposed to turn it manually, like this, every hour. But it's the egg turner doesn't forget, so it helps you remember. So this unit here comes off, and it has the heating element built into the top with a fan that circulates the air in abo above the eggs. The eggs will sit in this tray here between each one of these little metal tabs and as the as the you when the unit turns it rolls the egg over just like the chicken would be doing in the, in the nest in order to keep the egg moving and turning. The, these are thermometers that tell the temperature inside the unit. Can you turn them so we can see them a little better on our video? When this incubator was made, this was a more common type of thermometer, the, the most common type that you would see. It still works perfectly well and you have to get a little bit closer to really read the thermometer. But one of those is a thermometer that measures heat and one of those originally you could put a cotton wick down into the tray in the bottom that holds the water and it would help you figure with a algorithm figure the humidity. What's most important about humidity is just that you have it. And, and that you don't ever let it run out of water. So, John, can you tell us a little more about what we do with the water on this incubator? Well, one second. He's getting the automatic egg turner hooked back up there. This just plugs back into the top. That way it knows automatically when to turn. The water in this unit is, is filled into this unit on the side here, into the spigot. And it fills up the tray that's in the bottom of this orange. turner. The, all the orange part is the, is the water tray. This bottle here is full of distilled water. It goes into the unit and sets down just like that and it will automatically fill up the tray. So the percentage of humidity is interesting and it can give you a little more accuracy, but it's not required as long as you keep water going down into the tray. Um, you pretty much can't get it too humid, but if it ever runs out of water, then the chickens can dry to the inside of their shell and not be able to hatch out. So it's important to keep water in there. And that's our Marsh Egg Turner. 
and incubator. And the only other thing I'll let you know today is the reason we're doing this today is because you're supposed to get it all set up 24 to 48 hours, any incubator you use, before you put the eggs in. That way you'll know if the temperature and the humidity are regulated. We got these 18 eggs, plus there's one more from a farm in German, Texas, a tiny little town in German, Texas. So thank you to Miss April Geis and her 27 chickens of multiple breeds that she's letting us hatch some of their eggs. Um, we will set those on Tuesday of this week. Today is Sunday, so today we're just getting our incubator set up, make sure it keeps constant heat keeps constant humidity well, that there's nothing broken about it, and that it that it's going to be a good home for our 21 days for our eggs so that they will hatch. We had to make sure the turner was actually turning, which we got to see at the beginning of this video. And so we're, we actually ordered another incubator as well off Amazon.com, and that incubator should come later in the week. Eggs can last sitting out after they're laid for up to seven days before you have to incubate them. So hopefully we'll get our other incubator in and get them all set up, get it set up, and get both incubators started. Both are smaller. This one can hold 12 eggs, but about eight large eggs is, works a little better. And the one we ordered that we'll show you the setup of later in the week also can hold about eight to 12 eggs, depending on how big the eggs are. So we didn't wanna put all our eggs in one basket. We hope that you'll come back and watch more of our chicken egg hatch. We'll be anxious to share these plastic eggs with you that will show you what our embryos look like every day. And we will see if our borrowed incubator works, if our new incubator works, and hopefully 21 days or 23 or four days from now, we'll get to show you little baby chickens hatching. Thanks and come back and see some more.